2D shading and tune shading have become a very popular thing in the last few years in Blender. You're seeing a lot of tutorials on it, but I decided I'm gonna cover it today and I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to create this tune shaded cell kind of shader here in Blender. So you can see this is actually a 3D model. Um, I'm gonna be providing this one for free. I made it um, it's gonna be in the description. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take it and we're gonna add these cell shaded materials, which are super simple. And then we'll also add a line art modifier on top of everything. So you can see here, this has a complete 2D look, even though it's a 3D object. So um, if this is something you wanna learn, keep watching. This is a fantastic beginner's tutorial. And this is something that's gonna really add an awesome kind of style to your work if you wanna do sort of like 2D stuff. You can even combine sort of like a 2D and 3D look as well. And just you can see here as well, this is completely also light sensitive. So you can actually move your light around to kind of get different effects. So yeah, let's jump in. I really hope you guys enjoy. So to make this more accessible to all of you, I'm gonna make this model available for free on my Gumroad. All you have to do is use the link in the description below. You can put in zero dollars. If you wanna put in an amount, that's up to you, but you can put in zero, download it for free, and then um, you can go ahead and follow this tutorial. Now I do have the picture over here like this shaded, but in the blend file, it's just blank. So you can follow along with this particular tutorial. So what you're gonna do once you've downloaded that, you're gonna go ahead and run it inside of Blender. So here we go. You can see it's just using EV. And this is what we have here. It's got a camera. I've even gone ahead and animated it. But for now, let's just make sure we're at frame one. And the whole tutorial is how do we make this 3D Game Boy here look like a 2D kind of cartoony cell shaded render. So we're gonna start, first of all, by selecting the Game Boy here. And just for simplicity's sake, I've gone ahead under the materials and just added these placeholder materials. Now I haven't created any materials. These are just placeholders. So we still have to go in and create the actual shaders. So like I said, this is in EV. That's what we're gonna be working in. That's all you need for this. And let's go to the materials tab. And with the Game Boy selected, It'll probably be easier just go into our shading workspace. Okay. And in your shading workspace, you're going to go ahead and press Z and go rendered. And then you're going to make sure under your material properties, you have the body selected. So what we're going to do here, you can see this is just a standard principle shader that comes when we add a material. So there's nothing fancy here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually delete the principle shader. We're going to go shift A, we're going to go to search and type in diffuse. And this is one of those rare times we'll actually use the diffuse shader. And we're gonna go ahead and plug that into the surface. And then we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna click on search and type in shader to RGB. Then we're gonna click on it, place it on this cable. And now what we can do is we can go Shift A, search, and we can type in color. And let's go to color ramp and place it on this cable over here. We're then going to take this white value and drag it in. We're gonna come here and change it to constant. And now let's take this white value over here and let's come over here and click on this and let's change it to a body, the color of our body. Now I'm gonna go with kind of like a bluish kind of color, kind of like a grayish, almost blue, like this. And then I'm gonna come here for the shadow value. I'm gonna click on this black slider click on this color tab, and I'm gonna actually click on the eyedropper and then select the color over here. So we have the exact same color. The only thing we need to do now with this slider is just come here again and just drag this value down until we have the shade we're looking for. So if you want it to look a lot darker, you can drag this down. Now this could give you a more stylized effect. So it's completely up to you. You can go very slight, but I recommend kind of somewhere just a little bit above halfway, I think gives the best result, as you can see over here. And there we have it, a very simple tune shader. It's really that simple. What we can do now is we can select these nodes, we can right click and go copy. And now let's click on the next material, which is the back plate. And let's just select these two nodes and press delete. Now we can right click and we can go paste. And now all we have to do is come in here and change these materials. So for the um, back plate here, I'm gonna click on this first node here, a little tab here and I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to make this more of like a darker kind of bluish color like this a bit less saturated there we go something like that and then I'm going to come here and click on the other tab and like before I'm going to click on here 
click on the eyedropper and then select this color so they're the same. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make that value darker so we get the same shadow effect. Pretty cool. Now let's go to the button and that's these sort of black buttons here. We're gonna go ahead and delete these two nodes. Right click and go paste. And let's come over here and let's make this kind of like a darker kind of blue, make it much darker like this. And then let's click on this tab, give it that same color of the eyedropper and then let's make the shadow a bit darker. So now you can see this is what we have, looking really good. Now let's um, go ahead and click on the button red. So this is the red buttons. We'll go ahead and delete these two nodes. Right click and go paste. Let's click on this tab and we'll go with a nice sort of uh, reddish color. And then let's make this one the same with the eyedropper. And then just take the value of that one down to give us our shadowy bits. And you can see now, that's what we have. So once again, don't want to go too dark unless you're going for a stylized kind of comic book look, but I think that's more than enough. And then let's go to the screen here and let's delete this. So we'll just go control V just to paste it in. That's just a bit faster. And then I'm gonna go here and I click on this. And I'm gonna make this screen kind of much darker, but kind of almost a bit greenish, like so. Maybe not quite as dark, something like that. And I'll make this one over here just the exact same, but we won't make that one darker, okay? We'll just leave it as it is. Maybe I'll grab this middle one, make it even a bit darker. Over here, maybe a little bit darker. Slightly like that. Okay, that's looking good. So that's just this sort of screen here. We don't wanna go fully black. And then the screen inner, and this is the one where we're gonna do things a little bit differently. With this one, we'll delete only the principled node. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, Search, and let's get a wave texture. Let's plug that into the surface. Shift A, search, and let's get a diffuse. Put it on here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go Shift A again, search and get a color ramp. Place it on here. And then let's take the scale and let's make it 0.3. And then let's drag these two values together, like so. Bring them a little bit closer. And then over here, we're gonna just take the vector and drag on it, type in texture coordinate. And let's go with the object. And then we're gonna go shift A search and get a mapping. Click on it and then place it between the texture coordinate and the wave. And let's just come over here to the Y and let's rotate it about 45, like so. And let's mess around with the scale till we gotta get something we like, something like that. And now with the colors, let's just grab this black value and let's make that one a kind of darker greenish kind of color, like so. And then let's grab this lighter value over here and let's make that green, but kind of like this sort of green, like that. And you can slide these around to kind of get the effect you're going for. And there we have it. So it's a nice stylized look we have over here. Very simple to kind of get this tune shading effect. But we can make this even better by giving it an outline. So let's go back to our layout. Let's go Shift A. Let's add in a grease pencil object. Let's just add in an empty. And with this empty up here, you can see the grease pencil selected. We're just gonna press M, create a new collection. This is call it lines and go create. And then what we're gonna do with this um, grease pencil object, we're gonna come over here to drop down, make sure it's selected. Then we're gonna go over to our modifiers, click on add modifier, click on search, and then type in line and get a line art. And then come here to the collection and then select the main collection, which is where everything is in, the Game Boy in this case. And then we'll come here and give it a line thickness of 10. And now if you go Z over here and you go rendered, you're not gonna see anything until you come here to the layer and select layer, and then come here to the material and then select the black line material. So now looking for your camera in the rendered view, you can see over here we now see this sort of cartoony outline. And you can come here to the line thickness and make it even lower. So you can maybe go to like seven. And the cool thing is you can come over here to your materials tab and you can take this black color and you can change it. So I'm gonna make it more of like a darker kind of blue, which I think just looks a little bit better with this sort of cartoony aesthetic. But you can see here, now we have this. 
Also, feel free to come to your world properties and then change the background color to whatever you want. So I'm gonna go for kind of like a greenish color. And I'm gonna come here and just click on this so we get rid of the overlays. And now in our rendered view, you can see here in real time pretty much, if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, this is the result. So I really hope you guys have learned something here that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will be uploading the final shaded result to my Patreon. Um, but like I said, the actual blank file that I created, that is for free in the description. Anybody can download that. But those of you on Patreon who are supporting the channel, you'll be getting access to this finished rendered result here. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.